Find the Scratch Junior app on your iPad and tap on it. Then wait for Scratch Junior to load. Tap on the Home button. To start a new project, tap on the plus sign. To start, we'll write our name on the stage. So tap on the ABC button. You can now use the keyboard to type your name. Tapping on the paint bucket will allow you to choose a colour. Tapping on the letter A's will allow you to choose a size. Now you can see your name. Move it to the top left hand corner and move the cat to the bottom left hand corner. To save the project you tap on the yellow shape in the top corner. I would like my own project name so I'm going to use the delete key to remove project 2. So type in your name and your class name here. Tap on the blue button here with the arrow which will show you all the movement blocks. Our cat is here, which means the programming we put in this space here will apply to our cat. If you drag this block down here, this means move forward, one. So when we tap on this block here, the cat will move forward one step. And the cat moved one step forward after I tapped on this block. I tapped on the block again and it went another step forward and another step forward. Now I'm going to tap on this reset button which will bring our cat back to where it started. Instead of tapping this block over and over again to get the cat to move forward. If I wanted to get the cat to move forward 10 steps, I could click in here where the number one is, and this number pad here will show on my screen, and then I can put in the number 10, which will move the cat 10 steps when that move block is then pressed. So here is the move block with the 10 um, entered. And when we press on this move block, the cat will move forward 10 steps. And here is the cat 10 steps forward from where it started. I have moved another move block down into the programming area. This move block moves the cat backwards. This block is programmed to move the cat backwards 10 steps. I have moved the cat to start there. And when I tap on this block here, the cat will move back 10 steps. And the cat has moved back 10 steps. If I join the two blocks, our cat will move forward 10 steps and then back 10 steps. Now I am finished with these blocks, so I'm just going to take them and drag them back up to the blue palette. Now I'm going to tap on the purple button to bring up the purple palette. And the purple palette has appeared. I have chosen two blocks from the purple palette. This block here hides the cat. So I'm going to tap on this block here and it will hide the cat. So the cat is now invisible. To make it reappear and be visible again I tap on this block here. And now we can see our cat again. I have put the two blocks together so when I press them the cat will disappear and then reappear. I have separated the blocks and put a gap in between them. This is because I would like a program that makes the cat disappear 
then move and then reappear. So I'm going to press on the blue button to get back to my move blocks. This program will make the cats disappear. The cat will then move 10 steps forward and the cat will reappear in its new position. And that is all for this Scratch Junior tutorial. I hope you have fun getting started with your own Scratch Junior projects.